let's continue with the chocolate problem. Right now, we performed and even automated some tests, but they are actually still not enough. There is still a bug in the system. If we provide as an input small equals to 2, big equals to 3, and total equals to 17, we expect the output to be 2, as we would need two small bars. But our software returns minus 1, which is a bug. So, we didn't test enough. We were not able to find the problem. If we think again about the four partitions we have, we see that the input that generates the bug, 2, 3, 17, belongs to the third partition, need for big and small bars. This means we have thought about this partition, but apparently the instance we use to represent this partition, small 5, big 3, total 17, was not enough. We need more tests. Let's look closer to the buggy input. Given that we have total equals to 17 and big equals to 3, the small needs to be greater than or equals to 2, like 3, 4, 5, etc., for this instance to have a valid solution. If the small were equals to 1 or 0, the output would be minus 1. As you can see, there is a boundary which separates the inputs in which small is 0 and 1 to the inputs where small is 2, 3, 4, and etc. And these boundaries are a very common area for bugs. Developers often forget to correctly deal with such cases. And that is why we, as software testers, need to make sure that whenever there's a boundary, we exercise them and we make sure that the system behaves as expected. We call it boundary testing. So let's think about all the boundaries in the partitions we have created so far. In the first partition, the total is higher than the amount of small and big bars. We thought about small equals 1, big 1, and total 10 as an instance for this partition. We see the boundary when the total is small enough to have a valid solution. If we use small equals 1 and big equals 1 as a starting point, we see that total equals 7 is the last input where the total is too high. After that, for total equals uh, to 6, 5, until 1, we have a solution. So that is a boundary. For the next partition, no need for small bars, we have as a particular instance, small equals 5, big equals 3, and total equals 10. If we keep small equals 5 and total equals 10 as starting point, we then see that the boundary happens when big is in between 1 and 2. When big is precisely 2, there is no need for small bars. When big is smaller than 2, there is a need for small bars. That's the boundary. If we get to the partition that started all this discussion, need for big and small bars, we see that the boundary happens when we can't use big and small bars. In this example, when small is between 1 and 2. But we can think of another partition, sorry, another boundary in this partition. Right now, if we take big equals 3 and total equals 17 as a starting point, the three big bars will be used and then we go for the small bars. However, there's another way of using big and small bars. You can partially use the big bars, meaning not using all of them, and then complement with small bars. If we have total equals 14, for example, the boundary happens when small is between 3 and 4. Finally, the last partition, only small bars. If we have big equals 2 and total equals 3 as a starting point, then the boundary happens when small is between 3, which then means we have a solution that only uses small bars, and 2, which then means we don't have a solution. Now that we have lots of boundaries to test, let's automate them.